Hi everyone, I'm Tanaz from foreverconscious.com and this is your weekly energy forecast for the week of October 4th. We have a lot of Mars energy very active this week. I feel like I've spoken about Mars a lot. It's currently retrograde and this week it's making its second alignment with Pluto. So this is the Mars-Pluto square which happens on the 9th. So this is the second of the Mars-Pluto squares. I feel like I've kind of spoken about them a lot and if you're like, well, that sounds familiar, it's probably because you've heard me talk about it a lot. Essentially, we're going through this period um, with these square alignments, which started in August and will run all the way pretty much until uh, January of next year. We're in this like period of, um, it's like a dynamic between the power figures in our lives. This is in our personal lives, but also on the world stage. And this Mars energy kind of creates this um, need or this desire or this even um, motivation to, to butt heads, to question, to maybe if you felt a little bit pinned down by something in your life, you'll now want to kind of push back or you'll want to question, where am I holding my power? Um, you know, what makes me feel powerful? Where have I been giving my power away? These are all things that can come up. And of course, in the world this year in particular, we've seen a lot of protests, a lot of people speaking out and saying, hey, this doesn't feel fair. This doesn't feel right. Um, we don't like the way you've been doing things. And so there's this sort of energy which is playing out all the way until January. And we're going to see more of that this week with this second Mars-Pluto alignment. There's another interesting thing happening this week with Mars. Mars will reach its closest sort of, what is it, like proximity to Earth. This happens on October 6th. So Mars is currently in retrograde and it's going to get cl like the closest it's been in a while to uh, Earth. So we're really going to be feeling this Mars energy strong. When Mars moves close to Earth, we can also see extreme weather patterns, um, especially heat waves, especially fires, especially the kind of like Mars type uh, energy happening in the weather. So just something to be aware of. Um, it's a sort of more of an interesting fact to see how these planets do affect us and do um, you know affect us in a more visible, physical way sometimes rather than just on an emotional level. Um, so I'm really feeling this week for me, you know, last week we had the Aries full moon and just again, this strong energy, Mars energy. I'm really feeling like in this space of wanting to be the student rather than the teacher. It's kind of how I feel today. I feel like, um, you know, I, I want to step out of the teacher role and into just more of like, okay, how can I keep learning for myself? How can I keep growing for myself? So I was thinking about that while I was coming up with what I was going to say for today's energy forecast. And this little exercise came to me and I thought it would be fun to do it together. And it's just kind of um, honoring and recognizing the teacher and the student within you. Like, yes, I'm up here and I'm telling you like these, this is what's happening in the cosmic sky, but you can do this too. You know, you have this, your own intuition. You have your ability to be able to guide yourself and intuit for yourself what energies you need to focus on for this week. So that's what this little exercise is gonna um, help all of us, even me, uh, I've actually I've already done it, but I'll do it with you as well. So we're just going to close our eyes. We're going to put our hands over our heart, just taking a nice deep breath. And with your hands over your heart center, just sort of feeling into your body and just what does it feel like to be you right now in this moment? Maybe taking another breath. And then asking yourself, what is the most loving thing I can focus on for myself this week? And just allowing, just allowing the answer to float up.
and when you're ready just opening your eyes so maybe you have to do that again and give yourself a little bit more time but what is the most loving thing i can focus on for myself and allow the answer to come up from inside of you rather than being something that we logically think about or we try to like okay how can i you know what can i do that's loving don't allow it to be like a headspace energy allow the answer to float up from inside of you so if you need to try it again and just sit there until the answer kind of floats up so that was just something I felt inspired to do because I'm kind of feeling like we have all this energy and it's feeling a little overwhelming for me and I thought you know what I put my hands up and I think we all have to you know claim our own power find our own power and figure out what feels right what feels good for us especially as we move through October because it is a very um, you know it's the highest High point of the roller coaster I think for 2020 so I mean there's still more we still have eclipses and big activations happening in December but October is a very pivotal month so be gentle with yourselves and I wanted to leave you with a mantra from my book my pocket mantras um, and here we go I've just flipped open to a page I will be kind to myself I will take care of my needs before others well there you go I will be kind to myself I will take care of my needs before others. Well, that's kind of perfect. So I hope you all have a wonderful week um, and enjoy these Mars energies. They are very loud. They are very, um, you know, Martian in their energy, but they can also be very motivating, very, um, they can drive us. They can bring passion into our lives as well. So trying to channel in some of the more positive energy because Mars energy can also be sort of overwhelming and sort of a lot it can feel like a lot so i hope that's helpful i hope you all have a great week i'm tanaz from foreverconscious.com thank you so much